The advances in computational power and deep learning in recent years make it not a dream to use machines to assist scientific discovery. However, how to extract compact and operable representations from raw data for dynamical systems, which are as expressive as those discovered by human scientists, is still a huge challenge. In traditional scientific discovery within dynamical systems, scientists first observe the system of interest and identify key physical variables that represent the system state. Take the single pendulum for example. Its angle and angular velocity define its motion. Next, a set of equations connect these variables and describe the system's evolution over time. These physical variables and equations include everything about dynamics of the system. They offer operable representations that deepen our understanding of the system and enable various scientific discovery tasks. For instance, scientists can identify equilibrium states and assess the long-term stability of the system. By linearizing the system near the equilibrium, important metrics like natural frequency can be derived. Beyond equilibrium states, scientists can uncover behaviors such as chaos. This framework also enables the compact description of complex phenomena. Finally, these equations can be used to simulate the system and generate synthetic data. However, applying this traditional paradigm to new systems for scientific discovery isn't straightforward. Identifying which state variables best describe a system is not always apparent from raw observations. Even for known state variables, measuring these variables and collecting data may require multiple sensors and be very time-consuming. Recent advancements in data-driven dynamical system modeling offer a new framework for identifying hidden variables from raw video recordings of various systems. While promising, the variables discovered by AI systems don't yet provide the same advantage as human-defined physical variables, especially when it comes to operable representations for deeper system analysis and knowledge discovery as we discussed earlier. In this work, we aim to automatically discover hidden variables from videos that can seamlessly integrate into the traditional scientific discovery paradigms. To achieve this, the discovered variables must satisfy two fundamental properties, similar to those defined by human scientists. First, their dimensionality must match the system's intrinsic dimension, which is the minimum number of variables required to fully capture the system's dynamics. Second, they must exhibit continuous and smooth trajectories that reflect natural system behavior. While the previous approach addresses the first property, as we will show later, they often fall short when it comes to ensuring continuous and smooth dynamics. Here are four representative datasets we use to demonstrate the potential of our method. The spring mass system has an intrinsic dimension of two and is a linear oscillator with a fixed frequency. It features one stable equilibrium state. The single pendulum system also has an intrinsic dimension of two but is a non-linear oscillator with varying frequencies. It has two equilibrium states, one stable and one unstable. The double pendulum system has an intrinsic dimension of four and displays complex dynamics where two pendulums interact with each other, both periodic and chaotic. It has four equilibrium states, one stable and three unstable. The cylindrical flow dataset is a visualization of a fluid dynamical system's velocity field. While the dimensionality is unknown, scientists have, after decades of efforts, discovered a theoretical model describing the transition from a steady wake to periodic vortex shedding with three state variables. Our method confirms this theoretical model and discovers that the intrinsic dimensionality of the system is three. There are infinitely many equilibrium states and limit cycles. Now let us describe our method to extract hidden variables from raw video recordings. Videos consist of sequences of images, each containing thousands of pixels. Our goal is to reduce these high-dimensional representations into variables of intrinsic dimension while capturing the system's dynamics with smooth trajectories. To achieve this, our method learns a mapping between the images and these compact state variables. First, we train an autoencoder to encode two consecutive video frames into a latent vector, which is then decoded to predict the next two frames. From these latent vectors, we extract the system's intrinsic dimension using a geometric algorithm. Next, we train a second autoencoder to transform the latent vectors into vectors of intrinsic dimension, which we call neural state variables. However, these neural state variables are initially unconstrained. Their trajectories contain sudden jumps that fail to reflect the continuous dynamics of the system. To address this, we introduce smoothness constraints to encourage continuous dynamics without relying on any physical priors. Specifically, we minimize the distance between temporal neighboring states. 
However, without additional measures, this constraint alone could cause all states to collapse into a single point. To prevent this, we then introduced the space filling constraint to encourage the coverage of the entire state space. This process results in smooth neural state variables that produce smooth trajectories while preserving the prediction accuracy of future system dynamics. From these smooth trajectories, we train a neural network to describe the system dynamics evolution, which we call a neural state vector field. The neural state vector field represents the instantaneous rate of change of the smooth neural state variables depending only on the current state. Together, the smooth neural state variables in the neural state vector field form an operable representation analogous to the angle, angular velocity, and equations of motion in the single pendulum example. We visualize the discovered neural state vector field for each of the four systems. Next, we will demonstrate the various scientific discovery tasks made possible through these representations. Our discovered neural state vector field captures the system's dynamics, similar to traditional equations of motion. This allows us to use a simple root finding algorithm to automatically identify the equilibrium states of the system. Additionally, we can empirically assess the Lyapunov stability of these equilibrium states by sampling points near their equilibrium and observing their integrated trajectories. We can also compute the system's natural frequency by linearizing the dynamics near the equilibrium. This task is particularly challenging for two reasons. First, our dataset was collected with no physical priors enforced, meaning that the dataset is not concentrated near the equilibrium. Second, natural frequency is encoded in the higher order derivatives of the system's trajectories, while our dataset consists only of sequential images. Nevertheless, our representations allow us to compute the derivatives of the neural state vector field and extract such quantitative properties with surprising level of accuracy. Our discovered smooth neural state variables capture complex behaviors even in the non-equilibrium regime. For example, as shown here in the double pendulum, we can detect periodic behavior where nearly identical initial states remain close as they oscillate. In another example, we detect chaotic behavior where nearly identical initial states rapidly diverge over time and result in distorted trajectories. In the cylindrical flow system, our method identifies the transition from laminar steady wake to vortex shedding by observing the emergence of limit cycles in the smooth neural state variable trajectories. Our method confirms the previous findings by scientists. Our discovered neural state vector field is continuously integrable, similar to the traditional equations of motion, allowing us to sample trajectories to generate new data. A key advantage of our continuous representations is the ability to generate videos at varying frame rates. While our original dataset was captured with 60 frames per second, we can generate videos at 600 frames per second while ensuring the system follows the same dynamics. Additionally, by leveraging our discovered dynamics such as the identified stable equilibrium, we can generate physically compliant synthetic videos by explicitly modifying system behaviors. For example, in this spring mass system, we artificially construct dissipative dynamics by adding a damping term to the neural state vector field. By adjusting the damping factor gamma, we can control how quickly the system collapses to its stable equilibrium. While the original dynamics of the spring mass display periodic motion, the spring mass collapses to its stable equilibrium position more quickly as we increase the damping factor. We envision our work provides a promising direction to empower and assist human scientists with scientific discoveries from complex dynamical systems directly from high-dimensional data. The potential applications are vast.